Right guys, I hope you are having a fantastic start to the week. Thank you for checking out my video today. It's bank holiday weekend, or sorry, bank holiday Monday today in the UK. So essentially it's a day off, which I'm going to thoroughly enjoy before going back to work tomorrow. So guys, I'm gonna be comparing two down jackets in this video. The first from a brand called Canada Goose, which obviously is very highly reputable. You may have heard of it. And at that is also very expensive. The second brand I'm gonna be looking Looking at is a boss down jacket now boss obviously again highly reputable but it's on the other side of the spectrum in terms of price point so both great jackets let's see how they measure up in today's video so who is this video going to be applicable for so firstly it's going to be applicable for those that are looking to invest in a Canada goose jacket whether being male or female and they're not sure if the quality is on par with the price point so Secondly, it's a fantastic video for those that are looking for an alternative choice close enough to the standards of Canada Goose or made of very high quality. Thirdly, this video is fantastic for those that are on the fence and they just don't know which brand of down jacket to go for. They're looking for something that is high end on and high quality and just looking for the options out there. Guys, this is going to be a fantastic video for you. Now, guys, without further ado, I'm going to get straight straight into this video do keep tuned till the end let's get started guys Right guys, so before I continue with this comparison of both these jackets, if for those that are watching this channel for the first time and have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. The button below this channel, that subscribe, you can't miss it, do click it. Alternatively, if you do like this video, smash the like button, that will greatly support the channel. So guys, like I discussed at the forefront, I'm gonna be going over two jackets in this video. So before I get started, my hair's a bit messy and the reason for that is I've washed it yesterday. The next day I gen generally have this kind of reaction where it looks like I've touched something and it's gone static. So ignore the, the fluffy look on my head, but yeah. So I'm gonna be going over two jackets in this video. Um, it's the Canada Goose one, which is the Camp Hoodie Slim Fit and the other one is the boss jacket i don't have the model here i'm just going to let you know the price point at the forefront so you guys have that uh, at to hand when kind of reviewing this video collectively and, and you know gauging your thoughts on both jackets so the boss down jacket guys originally is 279 pounds there was a 50 percent sale and i've got it for a uh, half price I, th I don't know if it was half price but it was 135 pounds so I think it's actually a little bit less. It's actually more than half price. And the Canada Goose one was 550 pounds. And you can see there's a, quite a significant price difference, even if you take account of the fact of the Boss jacket at the normal price range of 279. Yeah, 279. So guys, I'm gonna be going over a few factors in this video when comparing both jackets. So the first is gonna be the design as something that's very obvious. It has to look aesthetically pleasing. The second is the filling that's used in the jacket. How warm is it? Things like that. The third, the weight of the jacket, and I don't have the exact measurements in terms of weight, but I'm gonna have a rough gauge when uh, you know picking them both up. We have one ultra uh, lightweight and one featherweight. So yeah, I'll be going through that. And also the materials used um, when making the jacket, what are they made of? Right guys, so I had to actually lift my desk up so I can do the recording and show you the jacket. Guys, this is essentially the jacket you can see here. So I've got the label on here still, and you can see it's like a, kind of a chocolatey brown color, you could say a bronze color, and uh, it's got a hood on it. And in terms of the zippers, what is the zippers used? KCC, 
So let's try this jacket on. So I ordered it in a size 16. Um, usually I wear size 14 in jackets. The issue is I made the mistake uh, of thinking that it'd be fitted like most Boss products are. And essentially it, it's come out loose. So it's okay. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference, but yeah, it's, it's really, really loose. So you can see that, uh, Oh, you can see the bag coming out here for packability. Um, but yeah, it's really, really loose. Um, I need to change the size on this to a size uh, 14, which I will do. So, wait, let me just go back here so you guys can see. Yeah, a lot of space in this jacket. It's far too much, actually. Um, and you can see here how it looks. It actually feels really, really comfortable. I mean, I just need to drop the size down and get a, a more uh, fitted look uh, so it fits better. But at this moment, it's too big. So uh, otherwise, design-wise, it's really nice. You can see it's got cuffed uh, arms there at the end, <coughs> which is a good uh, thing. Uh, the color is very beautiful. It comes in this color and it comes in black and it comes in navy as well. So you've got the uh, variation of the colors there. Uh, you've got a uh, matching color zipper so it kind of matches with the, the jacket color and that's pretty much it. You have the hood on the back which there's not actually a lot to say about this one plus you get the option of this like you've seen before that if you need to pack it away and put it away you could just put it into this and yeah it kind of why is it coming out from my neck it's really weird but yeah otherwise guys it looks really really nice and the quality feels really really good uh in terms of when you you wear it so the filling in this jacket guys is 70 percent duck down and 30 percent duck feather so it's nice filling it keeps you warm because as soon as i put this on it feels straight away it feels there's a lot of warmth in this so that's a nice factor the weight um what it says on the website it says feather weight um so i presume that's quite light and yeah to be honest it doesn't let me just take this off it doesn't actually feel that heavy i mean if i want to squish this up here I mean, it's a, a bit, little bit chunky if you look at it that way, but yeah, it's actually got no weight to it. I'll just show you the inside. It's matching essentially to the outside and uh, you can see the Boss logo. Where is it? Wait. Oh, okay, that's weird. Anyways, I think it's, okay, yeah. It's here. Let's see if you can see that. Hopefully you guys can see it, so that's the Boss logo. There's actually not much going on with this, guys, uh, in terms of uh, like uh, the design aspect. It's incredibly simple. And as you can see from the bottom, I'll have to show you, it's kind of cuffed at the bottom as well. So it will basically kind of wrap up at the bottom. Um, so yeah. Um, Actually, this is, yeah, it's, the loose aspect is a bit annoying, but the external body, guys, it's made of 100% polymade, which is a pretty good material. It's quite, uh, it's quite a strong material. And yeah, that's pretty much uh, for the boss jacket. Let's switch over to the Canada Goose, guys. Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna go over the Canada Goose jacket. This is the Camp Hoodie uh, Slim Fit. Uh, just to let you know, the Boss one was regular fit. So that's why it's come out a bit too loose. I'm having the opposite problem with the Boss one. Guys, what's the chances of having a fitting problem with both? It's so annoying that, you know, all brands have different sizing. So it's something to be aware of at the forefront. But yeah, this is the Camp Camp hoodie. This is size 14 slim fit and it's come up a bit tight unfortunately so yeah I'm gonna have to look at changing this. I took the label off but I've got I've got the receipt so it's fine. Um, so yeah I'm not going to be able to kind of shut this properly so there's no point even trying but I'll show you just for the fitting purposes and the quality purposes how this jacket is. So if I show you a side view here 
Yeah. It actually is really, really nice, guys. As soon as I fit this, put this on, straight away, it feels premium. It, it, there's definitely a quality difference here. So you can see here straight away, the Canada Goose logo. There's no way you're gonna miss that. I mean, uh, it's pretty colorful, right? Uh, so if you have a look here, if I just show you the body again, here, so, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't have the cuffed edging, it's kind of straight down, it flows. Uh, in terms of the hoodie, it has a really, really, it has a nice hoodie similar to the Boss, so anyway, in how it feels. The arm here, you can see that it's got a different kind of cuffing. It's got like kind of an elastic -y cuff in here, which actually feels much better than the Boss one because the Boss does have the cuffed, um, cuffed uh, kind of, uh, uh, how do you say it, the wrist thing here, but it's loose. So actually my arm is loose, it's just not fitting very well. But with this, it fits nice and snug. It fits really, really well. So same on this side. And then you have, I think when you shut this, if here you have a soft kind of felt feeling. So it's just more comfortable around your neck. Um, and yeah, let's just take this off. Internally, it's similar to that. It's, I think it's one block of color. Uh, so it's all black inside. Here, as you can see, all black. And then you have the Canada Goose kind of logo right there. And let's see. Pocket-wise, guys, that did have uh, two pockets on either side. Um, this one here, we'll put this back on let's see this one here has uh, a pocket on this side and also a pocket on this side is there any internal pockets no oh yeah so we have a pocket a massive pocket here actually so that's huge look at the size of that that's quite big i don't know if this actually came with um uh, a little a packable bag, you know, like that one did. Let me have a check here. Uh, yeah, I don't see it, but I think this is packable. I might need to look into this further. Actually, it's really odd. I can see a little bit of feathering coming out, even though they've mentioned, I've read somewhere on the website, it's down proof, which means that, you know, it's unlikely for the feathering to come out, but you can see it here, there. There it's coming out. As on the boss one, I didn't see any feathering coming out, which is a bit of a shame, but this does have a huge amount of uh, filling. So this has a 750 fill power filling. So it might be that it's just overfilled and it's kind of leaking out. Guys, I've got to say this, this one feels much better fitting to the body. Um, and it just feels so comfortable. I just feel like as soon as I put this on, I'm immediately hot. It's that, it's just, I feel straight away warm. As with that one there, uh, because the issue is it's a bit looser on the body. I don't feel like I'm getting the full benefits from it. If it's fitted to your body, uh, it keeps the warmth more closer to your body as there's gaps in there because the jacket is bigger. So I don't think it's a fair comparison in that respect. If the fitting was more close to the body, I, was, I would be able to provide a better um, a better feedback in terms of how closely, uh, you know, how snug it is on the body, but it is a regular fit one. So that could be the reason, but you have the nice uh, Canada Goose kind of printing going down there, which I think is fantastic. It looks incredibly stylish. Uh, just going over uh, the obviously the design I've already discussed but going over the filling in this jacket it is white duck down and as I suggested already 750 fill power the weight of this jacket on their website they have advised is um what is it they haven't advised, I, I haven't checked the exact measurement but from what I understand is ultra light weight so I would say that from holding both of those uh, they both kind of feel the same way. I can't feel the comparison, but they both are light. They don't feel heavy. So that's something to take a count. This one is made of 100% nylon. So it's a little bit, it's not that much different from Polymade. 
Uh, they're both, you know, pretty respectable uh, in their own respects. Uh, with this is also rip stock, which is really good. They are both uh, water resistant, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, they actually have quite sim similar comparables uh, in some respects, other than the fitting. I honestly, I'm gonna be, I'm really frank. This one, it honestly fix, fits better. This one definitely fits better. It looks looks more stylish. I'm going to be honest, it definitely does look more stylish. Um, I can either keep this one and obviously, you know, lose the weight, which I need to, or I can essentially just basically get the size up, which will probably be a better idea now uh, because I'm going to be putting a jumper underneath. Regardless, you're going to need more space. So that's fine. I'm going to change this one. But guys, uh, to just give you a brief uh, idea and my thoughts in terms of uh, what you should go for, I would suggest if you have the extra money, it's just the case of money at the end of the day, isn't it? Because there's a huge price difference between them both. I would essentially go for this one because style-wise, this looks uh, much better. It just looks much better style-wise. Fitting-wise, it feels much better. Warmth-wise, it feels much better. So in those respects, this one feels much better collectively. Uh, the Boss one, um, to be honest, it's not a bad alternative. For what you're paying, you're still getting a solid jacket. So there's nothing wrong with that. If you can just afford, uh, which at the sell price, I'm gonna be actually, on the sell price, what the Boss is, I would definitely say, that's a better investment in terms of what you're getting. Just drop a size down from what you are, so it fits better. Um, but for the price you're, you're paying, you're getting a highly reputable brand, uh, a very good quality jacket. It just doesn't have the extra bells and whistles in terms of what this has, like, you know, the rip stop, rip stop features, and you have this beautiful Canada goose kind of running down, and then you have not only just the side pack, you've got a big pocket there these are things that you know you have to individually assess whether you kind of need those it might be just the case that you just need a solid jacket and you don't need those extra bells and whistles which this has and essentially yeah you're paying for the branding i understand that but it is it feels fantastic to wear so guys that's my thoughts on both jackets it comes down to your pocket how much you can afford if you can afford a lot if you have the extra cash go for this one without a shadow of a doubt this is a better jacket if however i'm not saying that one is rubbish for the price you're getting the boss that is also a fantastic option at the end of the day so guys if you did enjoy this video smash the like button any questions any comments note them below I will address them accordingly and yeah I hope to see you in the next video I hope you enjoyed this video if I missed anything like I said mentioned it mentioned in the comments hope you guys have a fantastic week I will catch up with you guys very soon in the next video take care guys bye